Hi everyone, um, welcome back. Um, it's been a minute since I've done a video. And uh, it's because I've been trying to prepare to do this video and it's taken me a while to make sure I have all the materials that I wanted to do. So this is really an exciting day for me because um, it's something that I've been wanting to do and work on and finally I feel like I've put it together. And so today we're gonna make fake milk, but we're gonna make a different variety of fake milk. So we're gonna make fake milk out of uh, Rock Ridge Miracle Milk Concentrate. And this is another one, this is Super Dome Fake Milk. So I wanted to test these out to um, see if one is better than the other, but they look like they're both the same kind of used ingredient. So I wanted to try that. And I had made some fake formula um, this two day, uh, the other day ago, and this is how it turned out. Um, I want to go more in detail. I just want to show you what I'm going to use and do. And lotion. Skin is so soft by Avon Lotion. This is what I started using that using was lotion and water, which I'm gonna go in more detail with that too. Um, so, and also I, I went on and brought down um, the real formula that I've had for a while. So I just wanna let everybody know, I know there's a shortage of formula, but I bought this before the shortage happened because if, it, if I knew I wouldn't have bought this, I would have tried to find a mother, somebody who had formula I could like who had a formula to spare. Even then, I wouldn't even ask. I would just have to figure it out by using fake formula, which I'm so excited because I finally, I made it and it turned out really well. Um, so to start off, I'm gonna start off with the fake formula basically because um, it did turn out really well. Uh, basically what I used was uh, cornstarch and food coloring. So cornstarch and yellow food coloring. Uh, so you just mix it with water. You let it dry uh, for like a good day. It took a good day for this all to dry. And um, this is the first one I use. And then you just crush it up with a knife and make it into a powder, powder consistence. And it looks like formula. And the reason why I brought this up, we're gonna test, we're gonna test it with real formula, um, everything in a minute to see just how real it is. Um, the milk really does look. Um, and this here, we're gonna check, see and check out, see if one's better than the other. And also, quickly, um, we're gonna try to make. Um, magic milk disappear so this is going to be interesting so we got a lot to go on within a few minutes um i'm not going to try to make this a long video but as you can see i'm like here to experiment and uh i have my little olivia rose with me today and uh she's sitting here quietly playing with her rattle eating her um baby puffs and yes so this is gonna be fun. And also, I just wanted to tell you, like, I got this idea from different YouTube um, creators. So this one came up to me by Tiny Toes Reborn Nursery. And I do watch her, and I do like what she presents, so I do put, turn her on, and that's where I got this idea. And the baby formula, I got this from Reborn Love. And she's really cool, too. I haven't really watched a lot of hers, but I like her. Um, so if you ever want to drop by and check them out, you can. So Tiny Toes Reborn Nursery and Reborn Love. And she'll sh actually show you how to make this. If you guys are interested and want me to show you, I can do it. Um, it's very simple and very easy. Just take some water and some cornstarch. So, okay, so we're going to start with making magic milk. I really want to do this. Okay, so the nipples are sealed on these two. I 
thing. Oh no, this one's not sealed. So I'm going to fill this water up to like this and then pour it in. And that's like two ounces and then I'll make it three. like makes a good two ounces. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah that's enough. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one. This would be great too to do with your children. I think this would be a lot of fun for little girls who have a lot of baby dolls. Now I think you're supposed to put a certain amount of drops in. It says eight ounces, 50 drops, so I'm not going to put 50 drops. I don't have 8 ounces in here. But I'm going to do as many as I think will make great milk. So you see, it's turning white. Let me shake it up. And so there you go. I think what you can do with this too, you might be able to add food coloring in this as well if you wanted to bring, make it look more like formula. But it does look like milk. And then we're gonna try this one. This other one. See, I'm glad it just shows enough for me to. You see, I'm not even measuring it. I'm just putting in a guess of what it's going to take. I don't think it really matters. But it looks a more watery. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this one definitely looks like skin milk. And this one has a more thick consistency to it. Maybe I put a little bit more. But there is a difference. Oof, this has a very strong smell to it. So now you guys can know which one you guys want to buy too. That one's a very strong smell. Yeah, so it just looks like skin milk. I think if you add a little bit more, you might get it to be a little thicker, but not much different. This is more, so I really do like this. So I, I think I'm going to be using this, and it's not as strong as this. This this has a real kind of strong smell, so I wouldn't particularly want to use that very chemical smell to it. So we do know the difference. So okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to try to make this milk disappear. And I learned this from another channel. Maybe I should have. I didn't look. There's two channels that actually show this. All you have to show is how, all you have to type in is how to make milk disappear. This is my first time doing this, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see if I can do it. So I'm going to do it this way. One lady folded hers. I'm going to fold mine, just like she did. puts it over like this, right? And they said to, you can even take a bobby pin or anything, or a, um, what else, a Q-tip. And you wanna make, you wanna push holes in them. So you wanna do like random holes. I don't know if you can see it, but I hope these holes are big enough. I'm gonna find out. All right. And then I 
just move this on. And then I'm going to basically cut around this. to cut around it. this on see if you try this on me over there. Let's see here. Oh to get out of this. Got it strapped in. So we post the pressure, put pressure on it, and it's supposed to like take the milk down with it. Yeah, it is taking some of it out. It is working. You see it goes up to the top, it fills up to the top, and that's how it's disappearing. Yep, it's slowly disappearing. It's moving to the top. It's cool, I like this. I'm so happy I did this. Yeah, it made me disappear. No, it's so exciting. Little things like this is exciting. Because I remember just as a kid how much I loved doing these kind of things. So I think you just... There's a way to push it back down, too. Yeah, I just... Because it goes back down as well. So I might end up making. A little bigger holes. But yeah it does. It works. Yep. It works. Look like a. Uh, nipple though. I'm going to have to redo, uh, reseal my nipple. 